Good afternoon, everyone. I'm, I'm really happy to be here. And uh, in fact, I'm here means I'm in Amsterdam, uh, about 15 minutes walk from where we would be if we wouldn't be in this situation. So it's um, very, uh, uh, yeah, very sad that we are not together. And I really hope next year we, we can see each other uh, here in, in Amsterdam and have fun together. And today, like uh, Tron mentioned, I'm going to be talking about socio-technical architecture and, and also uh, systems thinking and how uh, those are key to enable product thinking. And uh, before I go any further, let me just sort of share a bit what do I mean by product thinking. And, uh, and product thinking is really about being customer-centric on the product discovery and delivery. So this is like a very, it's becoming a very popular way of, uh, of building a software and organizations to do uh, this. Uh, and to me, the key here is really about being on this continuous learning loop with the customer all the time. So this is the drive for the product development. Because as Melissa Perry, maybe some of you know her, she's a guru in, in the product thinking and management world. She states she has this very nice claim on uh, uh, that our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. And I double uh, uh, highlighted the, the valuable because at the end, product thinking is, is really about um, maximizing the value exchange with the customer. And value here can mean many different things. So it can be money, but can also be loyalty or, or other metrics. Uh, nevertheless, if we are not doing this, uh, we, what are we doing, right? So uh, this is a very important uh, element. So now, uh, how can we achieve this? Uh, so how, how can we uh, uh, do this continuously and at high velocity? Because this is not a project, this is a product. So it's something we are building and evolving and improving as we discover new things with the customer. So. How, how can we uh, do this? And to do that, to sort of look into this, I'm going to use a, a theme that is apparently very popular in DDD EU, which is uh, food and restaurants. Namely, let's, let's try to look at some traits uh, that make great restaurants. And restaurants, like software products, are about maximizing the value exchange with the customer. So, by providing great food uh, and experiences to our customers, they, they will be happy to, to pay for that and, uh, and will come back and maybe recommend us to their friends. So I'm not an expert on restaurants, but I will try to not, uh, I will try to do my best here. So let's look at the one of the first traits. So the, the first trait states, your staff defines your restaurant cooking and your experiences. So in a nutshell, this means that your team and the organization shapes your product. And I think many of, many of us immediately see this is, this is basically Conway's law. And yes, it, 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 it's really about that. So whatever product you are trying to build, you better make sure that your team is aligned with those goals. So you need to align these, these elements. The second trait uh, states that chefs cannot cook, serve the dishes, uh, the wine, all, all at the same time. So basically, this means that your teams must have the right conditions and capacity to build the product that you, that you envision for, for your customer. So you need to explicitly consider your teams, their, their topology, their setup, how they are supported to make this work. And this is not, so this is not just about technical uh, architecture when we think about products. You really need to think about the teams that are behind it. The third trait, uh, looks at, uh, at the fact that restaurants, if you think, they are a combination of things. So they are, we have people cooking and bringing the dishes, some people are, are serving, some people are preparing the wine. So in a nutshell, the product is a combination of different value streams in the organization and aligned, uh, we, we want to, them to align in order to, again, maximize this value exchange with the customer. We don't want to have uh, uh, the best local random optimizations uh, because just think uh, if you would have the best cook cooking the best fish dish and the best sommelier uh, selecting the best wine and putting them together, it's not going to be the best thing. It, in order for you to cook a dish, 
and, and, and get the best wine. You need to see both things and see how can you combine them in order to maximize that value. And this is what uh, Trond, uh, that just introduced me, uh, mentioned yesterday on uh, this is systems taking. So you need to see the whole thing and the, the relations between the things. The fourth trait focuses on, on, on the, the fact that um, to have a successful restaurant, you also need to enable your teams to discover new recipes and learn what works and not for your customers and restaurant. So this is very contextual and, and as such, uh, we, we need to make sure that our the discovery is not just something that someone on the organization or a team does this should be something that everyone including engineers like uh, nick tune mentions many times on his presentations should do so this is not just ux people it's it's about everyone should understand what's going on so if we look at all these traits we we start seeing that in order to achieve this goal of product thinking which is maximizing the value exchange with the customer it's not enough to just focus on the what system. So there are other important, important interrelated elements and systems that we need to, to consider, namely uh, making sure that the whole system um, uh, is properly set up, so the teams and the organization, but also the how system, so the, the product to be built and, and its technical architecture. They must all be aligned and they must all see what's the big goal that we want to achieve. So what does this mean? This means that we need to go into a, a more holistic view of, of, this, of this system of systems. We need to consider this socio-technical uh, set of systems uh, involved on the product development uh, uh, life cycle. So the customer, the teams, and, and the product. And this is basically the definition of, uh, uh, at least my definition of socio-technical architecture. It, it, it's about having this holistic view of the different systems and see what, what are the different relations that you have between them and use that in order to, to uh, work on the, the sort of the goal you have. In, in, in the case of product thinking, it's about maximizing the value exchange with the customer, but we also may want to go at higher speed or there are other elements that you can play around here. And this is my last slide. And I just want to reiterate again that uh, bringing all these traits back from uh, successful restaurants and products. And if you read them, they scream socio-technical. They don't scream just technical architecture. They, they, they scream socio-technical. It's about teams, it's about the product, it's about the customer, and how do they all uh, 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 go together. So. It, I really would like to, to encourage you to pay attention to all of these dimensions because this is how we will be unlocking the last, next level of improving how we architect and build organizations and products. And uh, yeah, and I also leave you here some books that sort of relate with the different traits. I think uh, they are also very interesting to develop further your views on, on here. And this is how I much I can go about seven to uh, 10 minutes, I think. I'm a bit already over time. Uh, but if you want to to um, yeah to follow up more on this topic, I'm writing quite a lot on this on on my on my website. You can find it here. I will share the slides afterwards, um, and also look at uh, DDD Crew uh, uh, GitHub because we are also doing great stuff there. Also from this community, putting a lot of these ideas together there on an actionable uh, 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 format that people can really easily start thinking and using on their own uh, jobs. So yeah, I'm, I will be here afterwards. So feel free to, to ping me. And if not, uh, just ping me on, on Twitter or some of my contacts. Thank you.